new episode of High Altitude Motorsports. Today's gonna be a good day because we have, guess what? First day of the build, first day of the teardown, times two. So we are starting the Paul Walker truck today and uh, we're gonna see how far we can get into it. This is gonna be part one of the series and uh, we're gonna walk outside because I think someone's on the phone. Anyways, it is the first part of this build series and my goal for this video and this series is to have every day be one video, ideally. If there's not enough content, then it might be two. But we're not gonna drag this out where one video is like a week or two weeks. So today, we're gonna be tearing it down. We're gonna be removing all of the door moldings, the badges, taking the cab off, taking the bed off. Hopefully we get that all done today. If not, then this will be a two day build video series. Ideally, we get it done today. This will be the first video. One day, bing bong boom. All right, let's get right into it. Right, so I just got my new vlog stick. This is the selfie cam of cameras. All right, we're gonna go do some vlogging. Hell yeah. All right, guys, we are vlogging today. <laughs> so the first things that we're gonna be removing, can't have these stickers or badges. I'm gonna take all these off. This side molding is coming off. So let's get right into it. If you are removing your badges from your truck and you have all this excess 3M sticky tape, I would highly recommend getting an eraser wheel. So if you do use this, you do need to buff and polish the vehicle if you were gonna save it, but since we are not, we're gonna get this done, then it's gonna go to paint. So check out how fast this makes work. <laughs> guys so as you saw we got all the side molding off we got the badge over here we got the 4x4 off we eraser wheeled everything um, there's some stains this is not sticky tape this is just stains but like I said this truck's getting repainted um, so I'm not too worried about it um, both sides are done so that side and then we come over here we got this side done and we got the back tailgate done so everything's gone. And now it is time to start preparing to get the cab lifted. Um, so there is a variety of stuff that we gotta do. Um, I'm gonna start in the engine bay, draining the fluids, and you basically disconnect whatever is to the engine from the cab or the cab to the engine, vice versa. Relatively simple, really not too big of a process. A lot of people think it's a big, process especially with this being an older truck really shouldn't take too long a couple connectors here and there hoses lines and uh, yeah should be pretty quickly should be getting it done pretty quickly change of plans i didn't get the ac evacuate yet so we're gonna get that done down the street uh but in the meantime i'm going to start disassembling the door panels, getting the door handles off, the windows out, the mirrors out, uh, what other trim pieces that I can, like the tail lights, the door handle in the back, or the tailgate flaps, uh, fender flares, pretty much everything on the cabin bed um, for it to get painted. And then as soon as we can get this truck over there, we will take it over there. All 
right guys, so it's kind of hard to tell because it's not lifted. The paint's not good, it's not the way it's gonna be. But I think I'm gonna do it without fender flares. Actually, this is even better, ready? From this side to this side. I think it just looks cleaner without them. Let me know. We got lucky too, there's no rust anywhere. So leave a comment below if you think I should leave them on or leave them off. Take them off, leave them on, put them on, whatever you want to say. Let me know. Hey, where? I got a question for you. And yeah, the, what's the question? The audience wants to know too. Ooh. So we got this side? Yep. And then we got this side. Okay, so this side has fender flares and this side does not. Correct. This is something bizarre for me to say because you guys are gonna say that you believe it, but I almost think with the fender flares. Really? Just because these fender flares are kind of clean looking. They don't have like the bolt holes or they don't stick out six inches, you know what I mean? I was just telling the audience I like it without. Do you? Well, okay. Okay. The other thing that's hard. There's, there's gonna be stance on it too. Because yeah. right now it looks funny for how far in the wheel it is. But when there's stance, you're right. It'll probably look way better without the fender flares. So what I was thinking too is since they are just fender flares, I could order new ones yep. and then have them painted. Yep. Can you do me a favor? Yep. What's the favor? Lunchtime. I need you to send an email to my guys so we removed fender flares all the side molding badges everything's off i give it a quick little uh just a rinse off honestly just to get some of the dirt that was collected i still need to wash it you can see it's still dirty but we got the ac d uh uncharged now we are going to start with the cab removal process um pretty much the majority of everything is going to be under the hood there is a couple things that we're going to have to do underneath it um, but probably get the whole front end torn apart too, like the bumper, grill, lights, undo the hood, or pop the hood, get everything under there done, take the wheel wells out, unclip everything there on both sides, then get the shift linkages, all the cab bolts, and essentially this will come up. So I'm gonna turn this off and uh, get to work. have been working under the hood the battery's been on and off dying so I'm not sure exactly uh, everything that got captured it's just a lot of work and uh, going through everything pulling everything apart and makes a massive mess as you can see we tried to catch it but anyways so if you come under the hood we have things disconnected and wires and things everywhere um, so yeah we got, if you come over here, all of the cab bolts. Ooh, I just kicked that. Cab bolts. So, in theory, this cab should be able to be pulled. We're gonna take this light off and do the cab raising. Right now, is that what you're saying? The cab's going up right now? Yep. <laughs> Look what you've done down here. I know, <laughs> I was just telling everyone we made a mess. If that isn't American, then I don't know what is. America. All right guys, so we got as much time-lapse footage and maybe we'll slow down some of the time-lapse stuff, but the first day, very successful. We got the cab pulled. I didn't start on this very early today. Um, obviously pulling the badging and all that eraser wheel nonsense took some time, but we got that done. We got the cab pulled. Look at all the wires and mess that we have. I don't even know the word to describe it. 
besides this is a lot of anxiety because we have 106 days as of today before it needs to be in the show so we got to subtract probably two days of trailering but great first day i'm gonna end this video make sure to smash the subscribe button give us a thumbs up turn notifications on because we're going to be dropping videos all the time for this build and this is part one and this is going to be probably i don't even know 10 to 20 parts at least i told you this morning i'll say it again it is the first day of the build and obviously the first day of the teardown first day of the build first day of the teardown <laughs> So this is like the stuff that goes fast is just tearing shit apart because half of it we're just gonna throw away once it goes back together. So another thing too that I forgot to mention, it depends on when this video gets released, but we will be releasing the rendering at 4,000 subscribers, which as of today, I think we're like 100 away from that. Let's take a gander here. We are at 3,883. So that means we are 117 away, 117 subscribers from releasing what we are doing to this. So unfortunately, I can't say this in this video at this time because we have not released it. But I will say, as you guys know, the cab's getting painted, the bed's getting painted, and the frame, the cab is, uh, or everything's getting pulled. So that means the frame's getting powder coated. So those are the only hints you guys get tonight. Like I said, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. This project's gonna be nuts. And we have a lot of exciting news in the future for you guys. With that being said, that's a lot of talking. I'm out of breath. We'll see you in the next video. Good night.